What's happening, YouTube? Um, today's video is going to be about how to stream Bluetooth music through um, an outdated stereo system on your GM product. Uh, I'll tell you what, specifically what, what I got here and uh, the idea, what I, what I wanted and kind of how I accomplished that. Um, so let's get started. All right, so I purchased this guy right here. Um, it's, a, it's a Bluetooth streaming. So... Um, for 2006 to 2013 GMs, certain stereos, uh, you'll have to make sure yours falls under this category. Um, but that's the product. Uh, I think it was like 80, 80 or 90 bucks. Um, I had to wait like two months because the, 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 I guess the computer chips are all on back order. So it took a couple months to get this off back order, but it came. Um, you can find them all over online. There's your part number. Uh, so what we're working on is a 2009 Chevy Silverado. Uh, 3500 with the factory uh, Navi close the door Check the sun out all right uh, so it's got the factory nav stereo <clears throat> and uh, it also has the factory DVD so I can't really put an aftermarket stereo in this because <clears throat> it's just too uh, incorporated uh, but the stereo is outdated I'll just show you i mean it's still cool it's got got it's got gps uh everything's all good to go um the uh the um let me see so but what i'll tell you is it, you can't stream music so you can connect your phone i have bluetooth phone uh but i was using one of these silly little devices here um and i've gone through like four or five of these that you know you plug in and get them on amazon 20 bucks and they last you know six months and you throw them away uh and it's a pain in the ass you have to come in and you know connect your stereo um you know it becomes a pain in the butt um i get in some of my buddies trucks that are newer and um you know kind of jealous you just hop in and your music's ready to go um so what i got was that you're gonna look on your passenger side um oh 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 got some fireball for an emergency uh, inside here, if you have in your dash, you're going to see a XM module. Now that XM right there, that module, it needs to be an external XM module. So all you got to do is flip your, you flip your dashboard down, or I mean your glove box down, and you'll know if you have one. It's right there. Um, the, the device is very self-explanatory. You unplug this wire, plug in the new harness, plug that harness into the... Um, the pig connect, pigtail connector and then there's so there's basically three connections you uh, you can figure it out yourself it is literally plug and play uh put that on there really quick took me less than five minutes and right now i can't play music because i'm recording this video through my phone but um i can uh you can you get the picture so i can't do it because like i said i'm on i'm using the phone and it won't play music through it but when I turn the key on now, it automatically appears to my stereo or my phone, and whatever music I want is playing. Um, I can also use my steering wheel controls to switch songs. Um, and then if I want to go back to XM, you just hold the seek button. Let's see if I can. Um, so anyway, and then if, any, if I want to go to like FM stereo, which I don't really listen to the FM radio, um, I still have that. But anyway, so basically you're, you're going to be on the XM mode. Hold your seek back button down. And then boom. Uh, a couple of the reviews said that the music is distorted and it, it didn't come back clear. I did not have that issue. Um, it sounds really, really good. It's got actually more volume than um, plugging it through the auxiliary hole, and uh, it just sounds really good. So I, I, I think it's a really cool up, upgrade. Um, it keeps me from having to, uh, you know, redo the whole entire entertainment system in this truck. I don't really want to do that. So um, now I got the perfect, perfect deal here for road trips. Um, this is DVD, so I can throw a DVD in here. I can play it in the back for the kids and I can have the front music going. They have headphones in the back 
and then I don't I have hands free now I don't have to uh, I don't have to be trying to dick around while I'm driving down the road so really quick installation super slick um, I'm gonna buy one for the 07 Suburban because it doesn't have it doesn't have the GPS but it does have the rear DVD and all that like just like this truck so the XM modules under here are just same as this truck so I'm gonna buy another one now that I know how it works and so that my wife can just jump in her car and uh, pair like a like a modern car um, so, you know, there is some, like I said, there is some reviews, some, some of the reviews, I, I don't know. I think a lot of reviews are user error. Um, people are pretty dumb. So, uh, you know, when you read reviews, you can pretty much discard half of the bad reviews because, uh, some people just can't even, I don't even know how they tie their shoes when they get out of, get out of bed in the morning, but it's neither here nor there. Um, so far I've had really good luck with it. Uh, I've had it in all day. I've been jamming. Uh, cranking some tunes so it's a great uh, this is a great deal if you guys are want to um, upgrade your stereo but you don't want to go to you know car toys or whatever and pay thousands of dollars to have it all switched around I used to have an f-150 um, it wasn't so integrated and I was able to put a nice pioneer in with like uh, Apple CarPlay and all that but uh, this this truck is just not gonna it wasn't it's not gonna do it so um, this is what I came up with like I said it, it rocks and uh, I mean you just turn the key on it's connects to the phone and you're, you're cruising and you know you got to have the tunes got to have the tunes so uh i hope this helps uh this product like again 06 to 13 um and then um just make sure it has the external x x uh, m tuner so if you don't want to waste 80 bucks and find out you have something else like i showed you just pop that down pull the flip the little tab at the top and go uh, it doesn't really need an installation um, manual because, I mean, if you can unplug something and then uh, plug something in, <laughs> you're good. Uh, so, yeah, there's no real way to mess that up. Uh, but anyway, I, I do hope this video helps out. The, it I had to do a lot of research, um, and I knew the technology was out there, but... Uh, I just, it, it took a little bit of research and there, I know for a fact there isn't a video with this specific truck or model or, or anything on, on uh, YouTube to help out. Uh, so very simple, cost effective, and now my truck is streaming music like a newer vehicle. So I uh, hope that helps anybody out. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's pretty, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. So uh, peace out. Bye.